Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to solve this given system of equations. So we got these two exponential equations, 3 power 4x plus 5y minus 200 equals to 43. And the second equation is 7 power 8x minus 9y minus 300 equals to 43 and now we are going to solve this system for x and y variables please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do let's focus on the very first equation we want to move this uh, negative 200 on the right hand side so let's go ahead and add 200 on both sides on this first equation. I'm going to add 200 on both sides. So this negative 200 and positive 200 is gone. So we can write this one as 3 power 4x plus 5y turns out to be equal to 243 and likewise in the second equation I am going to add 300 on both sides so we can see that this uh, negative 300 and positive 300 they are gone so we ended up with the simply 7 power 8x minus 9y equals to 343 on the right hand side now let me go ahead and call this first equation as equation number one and this as equation number two and now on this next step let's focus on this equation one and here i have copied it down and let's focus on the right hand side this number 243 and here I have copied it down 243. And now this number 243 could be written as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 3 power 5. So therefore, our this equation is going to become 3 power 4x plus 5y equals to 3 power 5. And now we can see that we have a same basis on both sides. So therefore we are going to use this property so we can equate these exponents. So let's go ahead and equate these exponents. So 4x plus 5y turns out to be equal to 5. Let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 3. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 2. And here I have copied it down. And now let's focus on this right hand side, this number 343. And here I have copied down 343. This could be broken down into 7 times 7 times 7, which is equal to 7 power 3. So therefore, this equation could be written as 7 power 8x minus 9y equal to 7 power 3 and now once again we can see that this 7 and 7 our bases are the same so we are going to use this uh, property this rule once again so we can equate our exponents as well so therefore we can equate this exponents 8x minus 9y equals to 3. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 4. And I have wrote down these equation 3 and 4 right up here. So we have, we can see we have a system of two equations with two variables x and y. And now here's our next step. I have just copied down the system of two equations with two variables right up here and now we are going to solve this system for x and y variables now we are going to solve this system of equation by using the elimination method so therefore let's go ahead and multiply 
this equation 3 this first one by negative 2 across the board so let's go ahead and multiply this equation by negative 2 across the board so this could be written as right now negative 8x minus 10y equals to negative 10 and this other equation I am going to just leave it as it is I'm gonna just write down 8x minus 9y equals to 3 and now let's go ahead and add these two equations here we can see negative 8x and positive 8x they are gone so if we add them we are going to get negative 19y equal to negative 7 let's divide both sides by negative 19 to isolate y so let's divide negative 19 both side this is gone so our y value turns out to be simply 7 divided by 19 so this is our y value and here's our final step let's go ahead and substitute this y equal to 7 divided by 19 value in this equation 3 now and here I have copied down equation 3 right here and let's go ahead and solve for x so let's substitute uh, y value over here by 7 divided by 19 and then right hand side equal to 5 let's move uh, this fraction on the right hand side so this could be written as 4x equals to 5 minus 35 divided by 19 and now let's focus on this right hand side these numbers and here I have copied it down and now 5 I can make it a fraction by just putting 1 underneath since our common denominator is 19 so I can multiply this top and bottom by 19 so this is going to be written as 95 divided by 19 minus 35 divided by 19 as well so that has been simplified to 60 divided by 19 so therefore I can replace this part by this 60 divided by 19 so we got uh, this one as uh, 4x equal to 60 divided by 19 now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 fourth to solve for x so this 4 and 1 fourth they are gone so our simplified x value turns out to be 15 divided by 19 so thus our solution to this system turns out to be x equal to 15 divided by 19 and y value is 7 divided by 19 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye